Hey, what's going on tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So guys, I'm just going to hit you guys up with a quick reading, because um, I ain't give the collective a reading in a little while. So this is going to be a general reading for all the star signs. Um, it's going to be a timeless reading, so when you come across this reading, it's for you. And if any of you are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email, because I'm currently having a break from social media. Alright, so let's see what's popping in the collective. See what's popping in the collective. All right, the first card that come out is relationships. And then the card says, your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal or balance a relationship, then snuggle more clearly, closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and love within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. So, what I get is there's a lot of like pushing and pulling energetically wise. Um, so some of you may be trying to manifest a relationship. Some of you have maybe have just coming out of a relationship. But there seems to be like this pull and push energy what I'm feeling um, this may be due to the retrograde um, so some of you may have ended a cycle or just begun a new cycle is what I'm feeling as well but um, some of you may be codependent as well is what I'm getting um, so some of you use may feel that you need a partner to feel whole which which this is untrue you need to become whole in yourself and then you attract um you attract the you attract that um so some of you are being called to um go more within and connect more with yourself um instead of looking externally for what you want um but there may be a new relationship on the horizon um A past relationship may heal is what I'm getting. So so you and your ex-partner or someone you may have just broken up with uh, may be going through lessons yourself individually. And then after this period of time, you may reconnect. Um, so just stay mindful. Anything's possible in the universe. So don't, um, obviously, um, yeah, be open-minded. All right. So relationships are on the forefront at the moment. Some of you may be on the twin flame journey as well. Or some of you um, are going to manifest a partner. More for your life. Your, more, more who's suited for you, should I say. And then the next card is reward yourself. And then the card says, You've been giving a lot of yourself lately. And it's time to, it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a constantly high level. So some of you, yeah, some of you need to reward reward yourself because um, you've been putting in the work. You may have been putting in a lot of work internally. Um, or externally in your job or career or whatever um, and you're just on the go 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 and you're not rewarding yourself when you reward yourself you kind of make yourself feel appreciated by yourself like oh yeah I've actually when you you need to sit back and kind of review oh, I've actually come this far I've actually done this I've done that so it's time to reward myself so yeah go out get your nails done go out buy yourself a new pair of kicks um, treat yourself to a meal um, go um, do something that you enjoy doing, reward yourself, man. Um, and it helps to also keep your vibration high because you feel valued. Um, but some of you may have also been, some of you are givers in nature, if you're a healer or empath or light worker, we're more giving in nature. Um, so you may be also being called to um, give to yourself. 
um, and be careful, be mindful, because if you're very given in nature, some people are they peep some people can um, some people are aware of this, and then if you're a giver, they they can just keep taking, yeah. So just be mindful of that tribe. And then the next card is, there is nothing to worry about. And then the card says, you are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly and through you. Alright, so some of you may be worrying about a certain situation um, or something that's taken place. Um, everything is occurring as it should. Um, so if things didn't work out, they didn't work out for your highest good. Um, not to say that they may not work out in the future, but just at this period of time, things just might have, have not have worked out. Um, if you're struggling or worrying about your job, home or career, there's nothing to worry about because everything is going as it should um, and you are exactly where you need to be with hidden blessings and lessons currently in that so if you feel like um, the universe is kind of against you at this time um, it's because there's growth that's needed for your soul's evolution um, and if you're really worried about a certain situation talk about it with your angels as well um, to help them to help you to let them help you lighten the load because it's a free will universe and they cannot intervene without your your say so um and also if you're feeling worried about a situation reach out to someone man if you're worried about a certain person um or situation if you can reach out reach out man um or if some someone's on your mind or something's on your mind constantly um reach out um depending Depending if um, if you feel it's right, use your discernment. And then the next card is time to go. And then the card says the the sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life, and know that the sun will rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of new beginnings and we are with you through each phase and cycles. Um, so yeah, that's in the same. So some of you are being called to end a certain cycle um, and move on from a certain situation, whether it's friendships, jobs, relationships, um, even the way um, outdated beliefs is what I'm getting as well. Um, so some of you may be called to kind of... Um, go within and just ask what you need to let go of um, because you can't welcome the new while you're still holding on to the old as well so a lot of yous may be trying to manifest um, well this is in the same category as um, the the same line as relationships so some of yous may be trying to manifest a partner a new partner but if you're not doing the inner work and not healing and not learning your lessons you're going to keep manifesting the same partner just in a different body if that makes sense um and i do encourage you guys um to do the healing work so you don't go around bleeding on other people yeah and um bringing other people more problems into their uh, into bringing people more problems because everyone's been through shit and everyone is going through shit yeah so if you're bringing your shit and just offloading it on someone else, be careful of people like that as well because there's a lot of people that like to just unload on you um like uh, energy um the energy energy vampires yeah they'll just call you to just unload their problems on you so be mindful of that um so yeah some of you's being called to go within and some of you's may not be getting a certain lesson or understanding a certain lesson um yeah, some of you are being called to also let go of outdated beliefs as well. And then the next card is, what do you desire? 
you know you have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desire. Once you clearly decide upon your desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, you'll rush, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. So yeah, some of you, this reading is about manifesting. Yeah, this reading is about manifesting. Um, so yeah, it's time to go within and get clear about what you want. What do your heart desire? What do you want? If you want a new relationship, what do you want in that relationship? Um, what qualities do you want your partner to have? Um, or if you're trying to manifest a new home, what do you want your new home to be? How do you want it to be? If you're trying to manifest a new um, a new job, wh what do you want? Um, how do you want your office to look like? Um, and one thing I learned, if you write what you're trying to manifest down, um, then it will, it will, it's more easier to manifest as well. And also, um, when you're trying to manifest, it's about feeling and visualize it. I can't visualize, but I can feel and then make it manifest. So if you're, um, if you can feel it and visualize it, feel that you've got it and then let it go to the universe the universe will deliver it in divine time and so try not to be impatient as well because it will come when it's when you're when it's meant to come all right um and then the next card is notice the signs um yes the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent we drop feathers coins and other signs upon your path to remind you that your loved ones are never alone your loved ones and what? wait hold on you to remind you your love oh to remind you that you're loved and never never alone um so some of these may be getting a lot of lot more synch um signs and synchronicities um so you may be seeing one 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 two 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 you may be seeing feathers and um things upon uh, on your path you may be seeing butterflies um if you're walking as well um and one thing I've noticed as well, people will, um, for me personally, I'll be walking and someone may say like an odd couple words and that's exactly where I'm at or what I needed to hear at the moment. So it's really interesting. Um, so yeah, be open to receive as well signs from the universe because sometimes the signs are right in your face but you tend to just look past them as well. And then the next card is cleanse and detoxify. Um, so that card is basically saying exactly what it is. You need to um, cleanse and detoxify. Some of these may need to take care, of, um, better care of your spiritual hygiene. So you may need to cleanse, um, have a salt bath, run around your house with sage. Um, maybe some of these need to go out and get grounded as well. Some of these is also being called to um, have a little detox internally. Um, some of you need to switch up your diet as well or are switching up your diet because I'm trying to go more vegetarian but um, I'm just at this like transition stagnant period at the moment so yeah as soon as I'm kind of past this period then I'm going to um, start being more proactive with that um, and drinking more water staying hydrated as well at this time will help the energies to pass through you more easily as well um, and then the next card is dream daydreaming so some of these may be, um, some of these um, third eye may be really active at the moment. Some of these may be getting more um, signs of synchronicity. Some of these may be your spiritual gifts are um, coming more online. Um, some of these may be being called to actually daydream and disconnect from the matrix. Because when you daydream or in a state of meditation, you can get more... Um, updates i'm gonna start calling them updates you know people call them downloads i'm calling them updates because we're updating the system yeah um um so yeah the more you daydream and meditate and stuff um you connect more with source and higher energies and be able to get more updates um and some of you may be um being some of you some of you may have foresight as one of your gifts so you may be at, be able to see what's going to happen as well also Okay. And then the last card is, yeah, giving and receiving. So yeah, you're being called to um, um, back, 
yeah, some of you need to work on your heart chakra and balance out your giving and receiving. Some of you may be more giving in nature instead of receiving in nature. And some of you may be more receiving in nature than giving in nature. Um, receiving is more feminine energy and giving is more masculine energy. Um, so some of you may be being called to balance out your divine masculine and feminine energies. Um, some of you also need to give to yourself as well because it's all good giving to everyone else. Um, but if you're not giving to yourself, then you're feeling you're at a loss, really. Um, so you're being called to check that out as well. Some of you are very connected with animals as well. Um, some of you are being called to go outside and get grounded. Um, um, yeah, and that's all the messages I have for the collective today. Um, yeah, so if you if you feel the reason read the reading resonated, hit the comments and let me know. Um, if you like the reading, um, like, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell thingy so when I do a reading, um, you guys can get updated. And also, if any of you are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email because I'm currently having a break from social media. And um, yeah, peace, love, and light, tribe. And I'm gonna hit you guys up real soon.